Welcome to 2833 Bud McKee. It's a circle, an intimate circle of homes with honestly gracious, spacious living here. And this home in particular is very well maintained. We've just the clouds have just broken through. I'm taking advantage of the no rain, at least for a few minutes. Here you've got a nice covered porch. Could set up some rocking chairs if you wanted to and say hi to the neighbors. This is the neighborhood that does Christmas cards in your lawn. It's always a popular place. People look forward to it. All right, we're in a beautiful foyer entrance. This hardwood floor runs all the way through all the rooms except the kitchen and breakfast nook. Here is your formal dining room, which you can see now has some beautiful built-in bookshelves or shelves for your dining room. I love the judges' panels there. There's crown molding everywhere. And look how you can see into the great room here. You have a slight vault. This big triple window with the semicircle above, that all faces the front of the house. A wood-burning fireplace. Now if we walk back through here, past the front entrance, past the coat closet, into a kitchen that has so much storage. Look at all that. The refrigerator comes with beautiful, beautiful travertine brick backsplash, granite countertops. Look at this walk-in pantry, ready for you to fill it up. I'll step back and close that. You can see where it is in relationship to the rest of the kitchen. I love all of this. I mean, mercy. Look at all of that. Glass cupboards. All right, we'll round the corner now. And here is your breakfast nook. So much space. I love that mud cabinet, I guess, <laughs> right? And the uh, sliding doors to the backyard. Before we leave here, before we go outside, we'll catch the rest of the house, but real quick, here's your laundry. And here's your garage entrance, which I always appreciate a garage opening up into the kitchen because you usually get your groceries and you can just go right to the kitchen. Now right here you may ask, well, what is that? And I'll tell you, it's a pool table. And right now the sellers are saying, you want it? You can have it. Here is a utility room. It's lockable. And your water heater is here. So again, lots and lots of great storage here. Right here, all of your houses in Valdosta are gonna have an attic access. We don't have basements. There's too much water in our land to have basements. All right, now let's check out those bedrooms. So back through the kitchen, there's your formal dining room into the hall. There's your entrance. 
your great room, and here, this hall, which is closable with that door, you have three bedrooms and two baths. We'll hit them up as we get to them. This is your guest bath. It has a skylight, so there's always, unless I guess late at night, some natural light here, which is beautiful. Here's your master. Again, this hardwood goes through every bedroom. Now, that's a, the uh, sliding glass doors to the backyard there also. This is a great whatever you want it. Do you want it to be your little office nook or a makeup nook or a whatever nook? Here is the first of two walk-in closets. This one is nice, but wait till you see the other one. So here is the bathroom, the master bath. There's your shower with a nice, what is that called, handheld. Thank you, handheld shower, shower head there. And one of the largest jetted tubs that I've seen. I'm feeling myself relaxed just looking at it. And here is your other walk-in closet so you can argue over who gets which, right? Look at all of that. Beautiful built-ins. Okay, so here we are back in the master bath. We'll work our way around it one more time. Shower, vanity, toilet, back into your nook, whatever you want it to be, nook. Your other closet, master bedroom. We'll keep curving around the hall. Now on the other side of the hall are your two guest bedrooms. So here is one. They're equally sized so there can be no arguing over who gets which. Very spacious, very generous. I think it's 11 by 13 each. I'll have to look at my notes. Oh, and two linen closets in the hall. This one and this one, and here's the second guest bedroom. Okay, and let's take a peek at the backyard. So here we are going down the bedroom hall. You can close or open this door to your great room, living room. We'll ignore the formal dining room and get right to the kitchen. Walk past the wonderful walk-in pantry and let's open up these sliding doors right here. Huge open patio. And you have an, a 12 by 20 shed there with electric and you can see you're completely privacy fenced and you've got room galore and beautiful beautiful boxes there i think if you've got somewhat of a green thumb you might could keep some of this going i don't know there we go 2833, Bud McKee.